Good day thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and this is So Much to Say YouTube TV. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. So Much to Say YouTube TV is the place that you come to learn and grow because we discuss socially relevant things mixed with a splash of humor. If you know you have tissue paper feelings, this probably isn't the channel for you. But and however, since you're here, I just need for you to do two things. Hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on that little bell so that you get the notification every single time that I go live or upload something new. I'll see you soon. Bye. Now, you know, I'm starting off my day with a fresh pressed juice. Got a little lemon, carrot, zucchini, two apples, half of a red pepper and pineapple juice because it was just for me. If it was me and Carlton, I would have used the whole pepper. I would have been here 10 minutes ago and I have to stand in line and pray. Our people are so unprofessional. You ain't telling me nothing. Listen, I wanted to... Walmart yesterday, and most of the registers are um, self serve. Self serve. Oh, they finally put them over. They are almost. No, no, no. I was down in Union City. The door. Oh, it I'm, was. I'm it, coming. It's up. mostly. That's what most of them are going to. I she's down here. She's talking to a coworker. <laughs> if you got a guest, a customer, they don't care. That comment exactly. She and, did, okay. and I says, "Good morning." Oh, good morning. You sitting here carrying on a five minute conversation as I stand here. About your, two. about your part. I'm thinking you were standing for how long? Two. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and you have a personal conversation. Don't even say, "Girl, let me finish this after." Uh. No, and she and she she was off work. She persisted to continue her conversation. Like, ain't nobody standing behind me. Because I, I just work here. Do you know that's how they do? Do I need to come out? Yeah. Lord, here they go. Let me, I'll call you back. Let me help them get this out the car. All right. All right. Let me get my outdoor shoes on. <laughs> Let me get my outdoor shoes. Wait a minute now, let me messing up my new paint job now, Ryan. I mean, it's on the floor. <laughs> what is all this? So oh, I, I didn't know I had some sweater. Oh right, babe, will you give it away? Will you give it away? I'm taking some stuff back with me, Craig. Uh-huh. Because I've got to finish something. Okay. So the shoes, Ryan. I got it. I'm taking it. I'm taking um the applesauce, the cookies back with me, and I need your chapsticks. Oh, okay. Because they're gonna, because me and your mama had a conversation. Then that I'm not here to supervise. I need to make sure things are properly packed. Pop, properly what? Packed. Because you see how that applesauce can be easily punched. Maybe we need to have a little pa little paper. In the That's why I say I need to put it in a bag. So this little snack pack is gonna go in. The uh huh. Because this is I got. I made these last night. I just need to put the applesauce in there. I'm gonna put the cookie in there and the, the chapstick. Because I don't want applesauce all over the bag. In case somebody. So when are you gonna do? Oh, so you gonna take the chapstick home? I'm taking the chapstick home, the applesauce, and the cookies home. You taking the pen too? What pen? Okay. Are those the shoes you're giving so, away? Yeah. So in other words, you take it home because you don't think we're competent enough. No, no, I take them taking home because Craig, I've already made those. The little bags. Oh, I'm so just you just gotta. Slip I'm them. just gonna slip it in the bag, and I because I did that I don't last know about night. Ryan, so, but I. <laughs> Right. In other words, you don't trust the said game. <laughs> but I'm good. At, I'm good at slipping into tight spaces. Oh I use spit oh. and pre cum. Do Amen. We to, do we have to give that visual again? Mm -hmm. Our whole mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. We had it once. I don't need it. <laughs> Baby, I don't need it ever. Ah. <laughs> 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 it ain't so shady. Oh God. So did Lenar bring his stuff over here? He shipped. Um, Oh, the fruit snacks. Yeah, but it's he had to do it, break up the order. So three yeah. bags came, three boxes came, and then okay. all the boxes are coming. And he got some other stuff that's coming here too. See how I do it like that? That way the cookie, this stuff won't get crushed. Now where are you gonna be Saturday? Oh, I'm going to Vegas. Let me see how you. So you slip that in there. Where mm -hmm. the chapstick? I ain't got it at the box yet, but it'll fit just in there. Cause I've already, cause I would rather put the chapstick in the uh, toiletry bags, but those are already done. And those, you gotta unzip and we ain't doing all that. Do we have uh, spoons? Like yeah, spoons are in the bags. 
With what the, you want? Uh, what you want? One of the cups? Of I don't know. I mean, like when they eat the applesauce. Oh. No, I thought you wanted one now. I mean, I have a, a, a leaf guy. And you see, I thought I was going to get some relief because you know you don't have to get the grass cut. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. but you know, but I'm gonna have to have somebody. Leaves. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have somebody. Have somebody. Right to the wall. Because I blew the leaves two, two days in a row, but that shit is. But you have a lot of trees back there. Yeah, that shit is overpowering. The thing of it is, when you bought the house in September, did you experience this when you first bought it, or did you pay attention that you had that? Many I leaves? didn't really pay attention. I don't recall it being that evil. Uh huh. Those are the socks over there. And if you got clothes, because I got, I've got some jeans that I never wore brand new. Some Levi's, I can't get them. Not that size thirty. Charlie, you couldn't get them when you bought them. These are like more winter stuff. She, she couldn't get in them when she bought them. Girl, these, this is mine. Girl, get, get out my potato chip stash. This is not for the homeless, honey. This is for the homeowner. Maybe you should donate those. I thought about it. I thought about it. I was going to get me a bag. Oh, yeah, you can have a bag. Look, I thought about it because I was just like, but it ain't 500. You just ordered a big old box of chips. He's like, yeah, for me. I'm like, uh, one box of chips, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I started to. I started, but it's. it's it, mm. There's a spoon in there. Yes, that so way y'all can just brush. drop bags and then keep it going. And right, so that whole stuff. bag would just go right in the pouch. Yeah, but this bag and then the bag with the applesauce. Because that's how we started. Mother you Gladys. Have what? Oh, what is that? Now, this is my shit. <laughs> Let me move my shit before they fuck around and try to pack this well, up for the homeless. Well, that's just tower from, from... Oh, Scott gave you these? And those are the ones from Scott. Oh, yeah, he brought them. shop <clears throat> Yeah, I didn't know he brought them over here. How did he not know somebody in the house? No, we did a porch chat the other day, and I guess he brought it. Chatting on the porch? Ch I, when he, girl, listen. <laughs> so anyway, that's my thing to steam my, my chairs and shit. Because I'm going to steam those chairs before Thanksgiving. The, these, what, chairs, these chairs. These over here. Mm -hmm. I probably would do those too. Yeah. I'm going to do it. I was going to pay somebody to come and do it. but Why don't you have a guy come do it? Well, that's what I was going to do. But then Carlton was like, well, babe, you could buy, buy a steamer for the money you got to pay him. Well, just and the steamer it. was only $110. Hey, he was going to charge. Right. He came and did my couch and my coffee table. Who? Um, the guy who. Mm -hmm. One of my so followers' I husband. Gonna fuck up them chairs. And especially with the holiday coming around, please don't F it up. Be right here with a whole wall spot like somebody a pissed in the chair. The chair didn't turn brown. <laughs> <laughs> we just giving all types of right. stuff. You didn't dry Unsolicited you, advice. You didn't dry it properly. The next, you know, well, I was going to I was gonna steam clean them on like Sunday before they come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just don't see you doing it. I don't so. see you having the time nor the patience. I'm <laughs> coming to Tuesday the 21st. 20. What day are you leaving? No, Wednesday. So I get to see them one day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. What size is your Are you going to be here for the holiday? Yeah, yeah he going to be here. We need to put together this Thanksgiving meal, too, because this menu. I just told, I talked to your mother and I said, vegetables is all I'm concerned about. We can do the seafood. I can get right. some tuna steak. You can get right. some salmon. That's yeah, yeah. it. I don't, yeah, yeah. I'm more concerned with vegetables because they're doing the cooking. Well, so just tell them what you need and we'll get it. Jack, well, it's more potluck, so Jack is going to bring something. My uncle is going to cook. What is this? Yeah, you're going to eat at 9 o'clock. <laughs> no, no, Jack is going to have a side. She needed to, no. Yeah, no, you're going to eat till 9 o'clock. No, my Aunt Gloria is going to be cooking. I'm telling you, come. She's well, cooking. Gloria's before. cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gloria's going to be cooking. Because it's Thursday, so they got Wednesday. My thing is just getting the stuff before they get here because I don't want, I'm not going to be in the store on Wednesday. So I had said to my mother, I said, well, I guess we can just go straight to the grocery store when y'all land. She said, I hope the hell y'all go to the grocery store before we get down there. Yeah, yeah. I was involved briefly with a married man who believed he had the courage to leave his wife to be with me and to live his truth. This isn't the typical story of a married man promising to leave his wife for a secret lover. Rather, this is a story in part about a gay man who knew he was gay before he got married but chose to marry a woman because he didn't know how to break free. Rocky and I met on a gay social media site three months after I returned to the East Coast to live and just 11 months after he was married. 
At the time we met, he was living and working in Dubai as a contractor for the government on a military base, while his wife was stationed in Tallahassee, Florida, where they had a home. In one of the first messages he sent me, Rocky shared that he was married, but that he had regrets. He explained that he had come out to his mother and siblings when he was 18 years old. He said that to listen to more of One Thing for Certain, Two Things for Sure, a memoir continued, visit audible.com.